Hi, and welcome to my mod showcase for hospitality and gastronomy. I'm Icon, and this video will show you around how these two mods work and how they work together, what you can do with them, what you can expect with, uh, from them, and how to configure them, and yeah, everything you might want to know. So let's get started. First up, the hospitality mod is like the base module, and the gastronomy is a little add-on, which uh, allows you to sell food to your guests. And as you might already have assumed, the hospitality mod allows you to host your visitors as guests, and that's really fun. So first up, we're going to uh, see through the necessities of hosting guests. You'll need beds which are reserved for guests. As you see here, these purple beds are reserved for guests. You can basically turn any uh, um, bed into a guest bed by just clicking it here and uh, once you click that it turns purple. You can also designate a certain pricing for those beds but always keep in mind sometimes visitors will pay you a visit which aren't able to pay uh, any gold uh, or any prices at all so from my experiences it's quite uh, good to have some beds which cost some money and have some beds which cost no money. And uh, once these are designated and uh, your colony allows guests, which you can see here in the guests uh, tab, and you click on the map settings, you can see here, as long as this is not checkmarked, no guests will arrive at your uh, colony. So first, uh, uh, as soon as these two steps have been done, guests will arrive regularly at your base and try to uh, search for your accommodation. They want food from you, they want shelter from you, and they want protection from you, as well as amusement. So right now I already got two of my guests here from the Fallen Empire, and let's uh, check out their needs. So you can see here how uh, happy they are. They are enough beds, they got charmed by colonists, I'm going to get to that in a moment. And uh, with such things, it's uh, very likely that they will like their stay. This percentage number here uh, shows the hospitality and it's a, uh, well, it's a very cryptic number which shows how happy they are, if they got beds, if they uh, are not insulted, if they stayed uh, warm, all of this flows into this uh, counter. So once you have set up these things, you can also uh, set up where your, uh, com where your guests shall live. So you could uh, actually set up a uh, separate area where your guests will only be hosted, like to avoid them strolling around. And there's also the option to set up a shopping area, but more of that in a moment. So once you have guests, it's really important that you notice that you're also seeing a new option here, and that's the entertainer job. Entertaining does two things. Entertaining makes, for of course, your uh, people, ha your um, your guests happier, but it also um, increases the uh, relationships and increases the chances of making friends with somebody. So when you have this mod installed, you have also this uh, new guest uh, tab here. So you can see here, um, where is it? Yeah, try to create friendships. So uh, once you do that, your uh, entertainers will also try to create a friendship. Once there's enough friendship points, you can actually recruit them um, voluntarily because they are like, hey, I want to stay with my friend and this will anger the faction they belong to. But with a well-placed uh, diplomatic game, you can easily acquire new colonists by uh, entertaining them and making them friends. Also, you can uh, set up uh, default settings for like, uh, if you check this, uh, check mark this, um, there will always be a entertainment uh, job for all the arriving guests or friendship jobs. I highly recommend to uh, keep their en the entertainment rolling because entertained guests are happy guests and this finally gives you some job for those highly uh, capable social people and it also trains your social abilities by a lot. So uh, once you have all these things uh, set up and rolling, there's uh, basically not much more you would need to do for your guests. Your guests will uh, do um, some work in the colony, but only the least uh, little things, and you can configure that. I'm going to explain more of that later. So uh, overall, you see here those Fallen Empire people just walk around and uh, get charmed and get talked with and such. It's quite lovely. So um, the more um, lovely the rooms 
are for your guests, the better uh, the verdict of your guests, of course, as well. Let's put in a few lights because it really looks just barbaric without any lighting. So um, basically, long story short, um, the more beautiful the rooms, the more beautiful the uh, accommodation, the more happy your guests. And uh, if your guests leave your colony happy, the faction standing will increase. But beware, if the uh, people are unhappy with their stay, the faction standing will also decrease. So only receive guests when you're ready for them. So, and uh, yeah, that sums up pretty much everything uh, necessary to know about this uh, guest keeping thing. You can, of course, also set up shopping areas. Yeah, that's one thing I wanted to talk about. So shopping areas. So let's uh, create one of those and then we're going to talk about the gastronomy. So uh, shopping is a simple, uh, mechanic where you're just declaring certain zones for shopping like uh, if we do this and uh, designate our guests that they can use these shopping areas they will go over there and if there's anything they see and they like to buy they're gonna leave some money and uh, go home with that so don't uh, declare anything in your shopping areas you might want to keep and uh, also you can default those settings like here also for the uh, accommodation zones, which is quite cool if you are um, on that thing. So let's uh, go into the configurations of the uh, um, hospitality mod before we get into gastronomy. So hospitality configurations, you can disable visitors or disable guests helping in general. And you can also disable what kind of uh, work your guests will do or not do. They will only help if they are happy. And you can see here if their skill required for the work is at least seven. These are settings you can change. I didn't want to talk about that before we came to those numbers, because I always like to show numbers when I talk about numbers. So um, if you change these, it gets easier for uh, the people to join the work. I would not recommend this unless you want to uh, have your guests working a lot. Also, here you can see the minimum and maximum guest group size and the default setting is 16. So uh, unless you change that, always plan for up to 16 people and uh, maximum groups within three days. Disable option limits. Uh, this one, um, turns off the brakes and lets you configure the uh, settings to unrealistic things. And uh, yeah, the other things, I think they go without saying. Oh, there's one thing though, enable purchase notification. This is not by default checkmarked. Do this because uh, it's really cool if you notice that these people are buying stuff. And also um, when you're designating shopping zones, keep in mind the most interesting things are uh, drugs, alcohol, sometimes also apparel, but from my experiences, uh, things that are fun to use are bought the most. All right, that wraps up the guests, uh, the, the, the guests and the hospitality and uh, newly founded is now the gastronomy mod. So uh, with gastronomy, you're able to build a little restaurant. It brings uh, new into the game, the golden, the, no, it's not the golden cash register, I just did one, uh, a cash reg register and uh, gives you the option to designate room uh, tables for dining. As you can see here, once they are checkmarked, the people can eat at this. The register works as a uh, job managing table. So here you can designate what kind of food should be served. You can also see how many of the meals are uh, in stock. And you see here how many earnings have been made. Here's the opening times. Yellow is open, purple is closed. Uh, here you can designate if it's opened or not. Of course, if it's not checkmarked uh, opened, it's not opened. And uh, I would strongly uh, recommend you to turn off uh, the colonist usage of those because it's really annoying if you don't. Um, to make things clear, if your guests want to eat something, they need to uh, go there they're going to sit down at the table and then a waiter must show up to show, to give them the food. So uh, there's therefore a new job, the waiter's job. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's check if I can uh, record that in action. So your restaurant has earned 750 today. So uh, here, 
The My visitors are leaving now, and you see here they really enjoyed their stay, score 64, with Lizard again, and since Coniatis enjoyed her stay so much, she left a gift. That's something your, your uh, prisoners, your guests will do uh, quite often if they enjoyed their stay. And uh, the Fallen Empire had a, a score of uh, zero before and now it's plus six, so you gain roughly one point of influence per uh, per ten score. So uh, let's do another uh, incident, visitor group, there we go, let's trigger that. So another group of the Fallen Empire comes, and you see here now they arrive, and now they are instantly assigned to these uh, settings that I did before. And in this scenario we got enough beds, but uh, like I mentioned before, 16 beds are by default default the uh, maximum amount that you should uh, that you should count with. I think it's uh, pretty good to reduce that number or you take that challenge, but whatever might be the case, this uh, pretty much sums it up how you work with that. So you see here now these guys are uh, relaxing socially, okay. And uh, okay, that was uh, some taming attempt. And let's see. I want to record the, uh, the uh, waiting process at least once, but this is pretty much it. Um, there's not much more to know about that. I already uh, crossed the most important things, so I want to do. I uh, want to uh, go over the most important things again. Uh, you need to check mark the new guests positively if you want to have guests. Guests will arrive as soon as you uh, have assigned those beds to guests, and these guests want to be entertained and want to be kept happy and recreated according to their expectations. The happier they are, the better their score. And uh, with a high score, your relations increase and uh, entertainers are there to entertain those people. You can also form friendships to uh, recruit people. And here's a good example. Koei uh, already formed a friendship without a uh, actual endeavor from my side so the more they like it here they will automatically go for that too and as you see here um if i recruit her i will suffer 25 relationship damage so that's that Alrighty, friends so if there are any further questions please drop them down below i'd be super happy to see those and apart from that i thank you so much for watching i hope this was uh, helpful for you and feel free to leave me a comment down below about any other things. I'm sad they didn't uh, show the uh, actual sale of a uh, meal here, but uh, that's just how it works. I have configured everything as it should work, and yeah. Leave a like, leave a subscribe, I'd be super happy if you do, and uh, apart from that, stay safe, take care, and see you soon. Goodbye!